Let's play a game, shall we? Hey there, welcome to Lost in Shadow for the Nintendo Wii. It's a very interesting puzzle platformer that I can't wait to show you about. I would tell you how the plot goes, but I think it would be better if you see for yourself. Okay, I'm gonna go with new memory because... In case you didn't know, I played before. Not too hard, not too easy for action lovers. Less action here. Let's go with hard. Why not? For action lovers. Is hard okay? Yes. You better believe it's okay with me. I mean, what is life if not good for a good challenge? Alright, we need some context though. This is a very interesting puzzle platformer game because it has a very interesting premise behind it. And you will find out in a moment. I'm not going to spoil it, but it is interesting. Okay, we start out here. This is apparently us. Or me. Or however you want to do that. Apparently this is the major, the primary antagonist. Okay, what do you want with me, huh? What the heck are you? Oh crap, this ain't good. Dead. You are dead. Not a big surprise. Your soul has been separated from your body. Look at that. That's that's the shtick of the game. Your shadow has been separated from your own body. And that's how the game rolls. Apparently this evil night mage thing has separated your shadow from your body, which apparently your shadow contained your soul for some reason. <laughs> Even though your shadow should just contain... It, it is, it's basically just light blocking from your body, which makes no sense, but hey. It's a game, it doesn't have to make sense, it's magic. Apparently your shadow is your soul now. Yep, now I gotta get back to the... Back up that tower if I wanna get my body back. That's the premise of the game, and it's an interesting one. I feel this is an overlooked game, especially visually. It looks really good. I mean, look at it. I mean, this is the Nintendo Wii we're talking about. It may not look all that impressive now, but keep in mind, this is for the Nintendo Wii. This wasn't even for the PS3. This was for the Wii, which was a little more powerful than the original Xbox. So, it's a really cool aesthetic, all things considered. Wow. I mean, shouldn't that kill you? Nah, you're probably on the side of the cliff. What the heck? Alright. Read. Memories! Your health will increase as you collect memories. Your health is shown as weight on the upper left corner of the screen. Didn't know shadows had weight. You can check the memories you have found in the pause menu. That's cool. Memory. <coughs> A shadow. That is all I have become. Your shadow was 0 0.10 grams heavier. I'm not just any shadow. I'm a shadow with weight. And of course, because of things like that, it actually makes very good use of shadows. I can walk along the path of shadows, but I can't walk in the real world anymore. No, you can't. Anyway, if you notice, there are things like this where they cleverly use the shadows to present dangers that wouldn't ordinarily be there. For instance, those spikes can hurt you, and as I just demonstrated, which I clearly did on purpose. Yeah, nope. Nope, not a mistake. I did that on purpose, clearly. Monitor eyes. Unlock monitor eyes as you make your way through each stage. To unlock one, all you need to do is touch it. There are three monitor eyes in each level. Okay. That's cool. Although, realistically, wouldn't that tree be casting a shadow? That's kind of weird. But then again, I guess it, it, you wouldn't be able to get through it, so for plot convenience, for the simple convenience of plot, we're just going to have it not cast a shadow. It'll be that one weird tree that can't cast a shadow. I can move from shadow to shadow if they're connected. If the shadow ends is as far as I go. Your shadow is 0 0.20 grams heavier. Wow, at this rate, my shadow is going to get fat. Yeah, look at that. This is the first puzzle. Point and search. Oh, crap, I gotta... 
We gotta get away from the screen a little bit. Oh, there we go. There we go. You just gotta make it move, and then you can use utilize that shadow. Moving objects. You can move objects to open a path in what might be appear to be a dead end. Hold the B button and point at the screen with the Wiimote. A large white circle will appear. This mark is what Spangle uses to search for movable objects. If an object you can move enters the search circle, a glowing glowing circle will appear. Hold the search circle over it to charge, over, charge it with energy. After you charge an object once, you can move it simply by pressing the B button. You never know what you might be able to move, so search high and low. Okay, I already did that, so that was pointless, wasn't it? I should probably climb up. Climb up this thing. I better go up that tower and get my memories back. Well, my body back. I'm getting memories. Oh, whoops. <laughs> whoops. Too bad. What the heck? I don't get hurt from falling as long as it isn't from too high. Your shadow is 0 0.20 grams heavier. Well, the heavier the shadow gets, won't that hurt you when you're cl going down farther distances? Well, at least I'll be able to influence objects better. Maybe. I don't know. Oh boy. Oh boy. So there was no point to that. There was no point to that at all. Uh, okay, that pillar is there. That, that's interesting. Okay, I better... I better get the pointer again. There we go. Open sesame. Luckily, I'm not just any shadow. I'm a shadow with superpowers, and I can in influence the environment. Almost as if I was made of actual flesh. Almost as if I was a real boy. If I can climb that tower, maybe I can get my body back. At least I hope so. Your shadow is 0 0.20 grams heavier. Okay, that's great to know. Oh, whoops. Shadow walls. A shadow wall blocks the exit of each stage. You cannot proceed to the next area without getting rid of it. To make it disappear, unlock all three monitor eyes in an area, then touch the stage and touch the wall. If you touch a shadow wall without all three eyes, you'll take damage. Luckily, I've got all three. Boom, baby! Am I ever so fortunate to, that I have, all, have them all already? To outflow! That sounds like a nice place, doesn't it? Outflow? Outflowing with energy and life? Ooh, look at that. Nice water. Nice water effect you got there going on. Okay. If I if I drop too high, I'll die, I, I'll get hurt. So I don't want to get hurt. I probably don't want to fall. And of course I gotta influence this. Hold on. Come on, point it there we go and There we go. It's a little difficult because I'd like to get closer to the screen than what is actually capable of using the pointer with so I gotta I gotta back off a bit wait there's a memory okay too blurry to read your sh your shadow became heavier you just became fatter that's what it said I just I just solved the puzzle uh, so this is seriously cool I mean, obviously the game isn't very action-orientated right now, it will be later, but right now it's it's mostly puzzle-orientated, but it is still a really cool game. And later on it gets more action-based, because I think you get a sword and you can attack things, because there are, there are shadow monsters in the tower itself. Moving while on objects. Try moving objects while you're on their shadow to go to new places you normally could not reach. Well, you're not going to say that it became, your shadow became heavier? Let's, let's go up. There we go. <coughs> oh, crap. Yeah, okay, good. He pulled himself up. I think, I think I'm playing as a he. I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't know, man. Oh, here we go. No, no, get, get in there. Dang it. There we go. Ah, oh, cool. Nicely done. Now look who's on top. Oh, I probably should get that first. What the? Okay. Cool. 
A lever. Good to know. Well, what's this? I might be a shadow, but if I fall without a shadow to land on, I'll disappear. Your shadow is 0 0.20 grams heavier. Okay. So don't do that. Unless you want to die. No, no, don't die. <clears throat> there we go. Or can can I make that jump? I probably can't. Probably not a good idea. All right, here we go. Oh, that was close. That was freaking close. Oh, whoops. Right, because I gotta pull the lever, don't I? Come on, you jerk. <coughs> Come on, just one more, one more, one more push. Okay, two more pushes. Can I pull that lever, lever from here? Evidently I can't. Oh, wait. Yes, I can move this. There we go. That's more like it. That's why I couldn't get on that before. And you can even climb shadow ladders. Which is convenient for when your shadow needs to get up places. Okay, now. Pull the lever. Pull the lever, crunk. Luckily, this was the right lever. Nice. Look at that nice little machine there. So cool. Okay, time to go down. All the way down. Down as far as you can go. Oh boy. That was close. There we go. Shadow, disappear! This is a very interesting game. And it makes very good use of shadow casting, too. You gotta love it. And it, it's not, it doesn't look like it's cheaply made, either. I mean, the shadow actually looks like... It's stretching and deforming across the surface. This is actually quite a nice shadow effect, all things considered, when you consider the platform it's on. But of course, that's the point. The game builds itself around this shadow mechanic. I guess I shouldn't be too shocked. I mean, even the original Xbox and GameCube had some games with real-time shadow casting. I mean, it's easy to think that they were just incredibly weak, that it wasn't until the PS3 and the 360 that we got actual real shaders of that capacity, but... That's just not the case. In fact, some Wii, ga some Wii games like The Conduit ha showed off a lot of really good shadow work, like bump mapping and light casting light onto a surface and things like that, of that capacity. The tech demo was even better because it showed things like very good specular work. It, it just looked great. It looked terrific. But that's beside the point. Okay, just gotta go up. No problem. You know, if you actually paid attention to these structures that he's actually walking on, it wouldn't seem to make much sense. Well, maybe a little bit, but why are they so flat like that? You'd think there would be some kind of guard railing or something. I mean, I know it's for, like I said, it's obviously for the shadows benefit, the shadow guy's benefit, but I mean, if you think about it in terms of physicality, this seems like a very dangerous place. I mean, look how thin these structures are. Oh, crap. My bad. I suppose the only reason for me being here is to fade away. Wow. Wow, that's dark. Wow, holy crap. Buddy, you okay? Oh, whoops. Wow, that, that hurt my pride. Also, my shadow bones. Holy crap. That was fortunate. It's a good thing there was something down there. Holy crap. I thought I was going to bite the dust. Yeah, see, look at that. You can actually see the shadow deforming. But yeah, like I said, isn't this kind of too thin of an environment? Isn't it kind of dangerous? Seems like it is. It seems like if this was an actual environment for actual people to be in, it would be a little reckless to... Its design is a little reckless. But, you know, I guess... It doesn't have to make complete sense, it's just for Shadow Guy. It's just there for the gameplay. It doesn't have to make perfect sense all the time. <laughs> Even though I'm questioning the hell out of it right now. I suppose this was built by someone who didn't so much care for safety standards. No you don't, buddy. No you freaking don't. Yeah, not again. It's a good thing they automatically close. Oh, crap. Crap, crap, crap. It's a good thing those, those things automatically close after they open up those bridges. Because otherwise that would make the game a whole lot harder, wouldn't it? 
Otherwise, you would make the game unbeatable just by falling through them once. Come on, little buddy. You can do it. I know you I know you want to disappear, but you gotta you gotta live on, man. You gotta You gotta find that will, man. Find that will to move on. You are not just here to disappear. You you are here. You were made to get your body back. And that is what you must do. You must complete your task. Don't give up, man. Don't give up on me now. Don't you even dare. Don't you even think about giving up on me. You hear me? You, you gotta keep fighting, man. Keep fighting. Don't give up. Even if things keep even if things seem hard. It's a tram station. That's great. Okay. Is there another uh, another monitor eye up here? Because I got the other two. Oh no, I'm gonna get hurt. I don't wanna get hurt. Being hurt sucks. Nobody wants to get hurt. And of course I gotta go back up. That's just great. I guess you had to go down to get one of them. Oh well. Oh well. Life is not just about the journey, it's also about the destination. I think it's about both. Some people say it's not about the journey, about the destination, it's about the journey, not the destination, but I think it's a little of both. I think the destination obviously matters too, just as much as the, the journey, at least I would say so. I'm guessing if I fall down here, it would be bad. It would be bad for me. No, wait, no, it wouldn't. Right, because th there's that area below. Okay, there's probably something to the right here. I'm gonna make that guess. Oh, I see. I see. Ah, there we go. Just gotta move that out of the way. Pull. Pull the lever. Do it, man. You can do it. That's how you do it. Now all we gotta do is go down there and collect our prize. What do I win? You win jack crap. Because that's the way life works. You don't always win. Right, you gotta crawl. Sometimes you gotta now crawl on your knees, dog. You want that prize, you're gonna have to work for it. A trap. Someone must have put it here. Your shadow was 0.20 grams heavier. Yeah, I know that. What the heck? What's that? Shadow corridors. These strange looking doors lead to a shadow corridor. An area of space completely separate from the real world. Some shadow corridors are dangerous, so be careful when you enter them. Okay. Sounds fun. Can't wait. <coughs> How magical. Exiting shadow corridors. You can exit a shadow corridor at any time from the pause menu by selecting leave shadow corridor. Good to know. But I kind of want to stick around here and see what's in this place. You said sometimes they're dangerous, but that doesn't mean now is dangerous. I mean, I, I, I kind of want to explore this world a little bit. What the? The exit. Find the exit to return to the real world. Sometimes the exit is well hidden, so keep your eyes peeled. The exit is literally right there. But then again, this is the first time it's it's introducing you to the whole concept, so what do you expect, right? You gotta... You can't expect it to go full throttle on you right from the start. It's, it's still introducing you to concepts. There we go. Oh, nice. It gave me some health back. Quite a generous amount, actually. That's awesome. Now crawl. Yeah, that's right. You get on your knees and you crawl, you, you piece of crap. I mean, you lovely little angel, you. I just gotta get to the exit. I know where it's at, but I just have to get there. Hold tight real quick. Okay, now I'm at a tram station, apparently. That's cool. Can I, can I take a train to the tower? Okay, here's some gaps. Probably don't want to land on, land down there. It's probably a long way down, if you know what I'm saying. Actually, I remember there was another mechanic. I'm not sure when it'll present itself, but I do remember that there was another mechanic where you could move light bulbs around to create your own light source. Oh, great. Another shadow area. Now entering the shadow realm. Yugi, we must enter the shadow realm. 
the heck? Does that, does that restore your health or what? I, I have to assume. Okay, rotating the stage. Spiral, spiral swirls like the one on the right can be used to rotate the stage. Walk over the spiral and pl press left or right to rotate the stage 90 degrees in that direction. Nice. It kind of reminds me of that Paper Mario game. By changing the perspective of the shadows, you can open new areas to go to. So try rotating the stage in different ways. Be careful you're not hit by shadows when rotating the stage or you'll have to try again. Rotate the stage and find your way to the exit. You dog. <coughs> no problem. All I have to do is do it once. Well, and maybe do it again. I don't know. I'm not... I'm not the expert. I'm not the architect who designed this, this freaking place. No, there you go. Right off the bat. Nicely done, says me to myself. I did it in one try. I must be a natural at this game. And I have it set to hard, too. But then again, nothing's really appeared yet to justify it being hard. That's when the enemies will appear. The tram below leads directly to the tower. It'll, I'll be fine as long as I don't look down. Your shadow is heavier. Yeah, your shadow is gaining some weight. Okay, there, oh, there we go. The tram. Nice. Gotta love that whimsical music. I'm gonna shut up and let you listen to it now. Now that is an opening sequence! I really hope that song isn't copywritten. I may have to replace it. That would suck if I did. I hope I don't have to. I mean, it's video game music. Th th typically, the expectation is that it tends to be more on the the side of I'm tr I'm I want to say on the side of fair use. I mean, most game companies don't really care that you play their games. In fact, they consider it free publicity. That's why that's why typically let's players don't have to worry about anything. Even though it is a gray area. There there is a gray area to be had. You you could say that they don't really have any rights since this is a these are assets that belong to the company and all you're really providing is input and maybe commentary, but still. Even so. Oh, okay, right. For some reason, I mistook those for the, for the stage rotators. What's this? All right, here we go. Swinging lamps. This is what I was talking about. Point at a lamp with the Wii remote and hold the B button to swing it. By swinging the lamp, you can move the angle of the shadows to open up new paths. Yes, sir. Yeah, check that out. How cool is that? Oh, there we go. You just gotta wait for it to swing in the direction. Swing low, sweet chair post. Sweet ceiling lamp. Coming for to carry me home. Swing low, sweet ceiling lamp. Coming for to carry me home. That was fun. Although, probably unnecessary. I mean, I probably didn't even have to go in there. Wait, what's this? What's this? The tower has defense mechanisms in place. They are meant to remove unwanted outsiders. Your shadow is 0 0.20 grams heavier. What's this? Can you control this? Oh, whoops. What the heck? I'm about to say. It was, it was weird. 
That was kind of weird, wasn't it? Oh well. To Pillar Path. Let us forge our own path into the tower. Lost in my own sh- Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me with this crap? Alright, give me a sec. Okay, this is where I left off. I didn't realize that this- that I hadn't actually been here before. Okay. When it said there were defense mechanisms, it wasn't kidding. I got hit by an arrow. But luckily, I don't think it was in the knee, so I can I can keep going. I'm gonna keep making that stupid joke until everyone's sick of it because, I mean, I had to endure that stupid joke too. Oh crap, crap, crap. Don't wanna get, I don't wanna actually die or anything, that would suck. I mean, imagine if your shadow died, that would, that would double suck. I mean, where would you go after that? Shadow heaven? Is there some kind of shadow god? Nah, not really. I guess you would just go to regular heaven, but you would just be a shadow. Imagine how, how weird that would be. You can't stand on your own. You can only inhibit shadows. This is the only, this is only the bottom of the tower. Your shadow is 0 0.10 grams heavier. Well, I guess I better get to it. If I'm gonna get up to that tower, huh? I've got a long way to go before I reach the top. That is one big freaking tower. I don't know if you noticed. That is a big freaking tower. There's gotta be something I can use. Come on. There we go. Come on. Wait a minute. I see something. Oh, I see. You just rotate that. That works. That, that works, I guess. You just gotta rotate these things. These look kinda weird. Hmm. It's kinda funny because this had you going on walls, on the sides of walls before Mario Odyssey, so... Guess who did it first, Mario? Whoever this guy is. I don't know anything about him except that he's a shadow, but... He did it first, Mario. You, you weren't original. Not in the slightest. Ah, crap. It's, it's difficult to do that. And hey, come on, man. He's supposed to do that. Ah, crud. This is gonna be difficult, ain't it? Okay, let me try that once more. Ah, crap. This isn't working out. This isn't working out very well at all, is it? Wait, what if it, okay, I can't move that one, so that's, that's unfortunate. I can't move that one either, so. I have to find some way to make this work. And I don't know any way to make this work. Unless. Get, get up there, dang it. Okay, so that is a shadow. That's a shadow right there, so I can't, I can't do anything about that. What if I... Well, that obviously isn't gonna work. That's just silly. Ah, crap. I thought maybe I could hop on, I could climb onto the side or something. That's not gonna work. This is starting to get old, ain't it? All right, give me a sec. <laughs> Holy crap, I did it! Now I just have to be very careful. Very, yeah, there we go, good. Good Shadow Man, you did it! You freaking did it! Nice! Now just carefully get that without touching the spikes. You don't want to get hurt, do you? Can that be moved? Yes, it can! Nice! And I still ended up hitting them. Because I was too, I was too much in a hurry, wasn't I? Let's see what else this has to offer. Let me guess, it has more dangerous things this time, huh? What you want to bet? Oh, right. I obviously can't do it that way. Yeah, okay. That's how you do it. That was the first time that I didn't get it immediately on the first time. 
But now I'm getting into the first tries. I just have to know which way to turn it. I knew the, I actually knew the right way I was supposed to rotate it. I just didn't know what way corresponded to what path. Which, di di which direction arrow on the key, on the D-pad, corresponded to rotating in what direction. Again? Yeesh. This game, huh? I need to clean this disc out, of, clearly. More than I've been doing. I should probably use some kind of cleaner on it. Or just use toothpaste. Appar apparently toothpaste is very good when it comes to scratch discs. Like if you just rub toothpaste alongside, obviously, the aluminum side, the, the reflective side, that apparently it'll actually fill in scratches and it'll allow it to read more easily. Now, obviously, if it's if there's a crack all the way down to the data, you're, you're not going to be able to fix that. That's just lost. But, yeah, apparently all you got to do is put some toothpaste in it, you know, if it's, if it's surface scratches. Because surface scratches can prevent it from being red, too. Even if the data is actually fine. But apparently tooth toothpaste does seem to help. I've had discs that were scratched to hell and back. I rubbed some toothpaste on them, and they read just fine. So, you know, pro tip. Pro tip, that is something you might want to consider if your disc, if you've got an old, older disc that is very scratched and it has trouble reading, which I'm definitely going to do after this recording. You know, if I, if I ever do another recording, definitely before then. But anyway, I think I'm just about ready to call it quits because, you know, I'm, I'm about, I'm pretty much at my allotted time. I'm trying to go for 30 minutes every day now. So... And, okay, I'm back at the beginning of it. it. It's okay. I'll do it in the next one if I do another one. If you if you guys want, want to see me do another one, you know, give me comments, give it a like, give it a view, check it out, you know, I'll get the message. But anyway, that's it for now. Thank you so much for tuning in with me. Make sure to spread this video around like my own shadow, and I will see you next time. Now go out there and capitalize on life. Peace out, have a good one, and have a nice and pleasant day.